Hello everyone in this video, let us use the Jira's REST API to transition an issue. So today let us do something uh, really interesting. Uh, so we have been working with Jira's REST API for uh, quite a while now and we have done a lot of wonderful things. And uh, to continue uh, that, uh, that to continue making videos in this uh, in this particular video series today i want to basically use uh, uh, this particular endpoint to uh, make a transition so if you look at this uh, endpoint it is uh, using the post method and uh, the endpoint is rest api3 issue followed by the issue key or issue id and then transition so if you look at this particular endpoint uh, you need to to basically provide the json file that will have of course some information about uh, at least the transition that you're trying to do so i believe the the, the bare minimum here is the trans transition id and uh, for this particular exercise i will be using one example so this is my issue which is uh, cts uh, hyphen 16 and uh, right now the issue status is uh, in progress so, so let, let us just change it to, in, to, to, to maybe to do so right now the uh, status is uh, to do and if i click on in progress or if i hover my mouse on uh, in progress i can see the action id in the in the url which is uh, 21 in my case so usually you will have some action id for each and every transition for your uh, workflow so in, in my case it is uh, in prog for in progress it is 21 for done it is 31 so what i will do i will uh, go to my talent api tester and i will use this uh, uh, endpoint which is rest api3 issue uh, for followed by the issue key and then i need to use this transition at the very end now what i want to do i want to transition the uh, the uh, issue so i will copy this uh, portion which is the transition and uh, i will specify the id uh, 21 for in progress and 31 for done and i will uh, copy this as it is so the only thing that you need to to, to worry about is uh, making sure that the format is correct now transition id is equal to 5 let us try if this works or not if i click on send button i get uh, this error 400 and, and and the error is very clear transition id 5 is not valid for this issue which is uh, correct because the valid transition is either 11, no, not 11, but 21 or 31. So let me change it to maybe 21 first. And if I click on send button, uh, there is no error right now. But if I go to my uh, issue and if I refresh my issue, I can hopefully see that uh, there is a transition that says uh, now in progress. Now I can also go back uh, go back to to do uh, if I do maybe 11 here. So let us try with 11 and uh, click on the button take a look at the response uh, refresh the screen and now we are back to to do for turn for for done uh, the transition id is 31 and uh, i can also validate whether 31 is working or not so this is the only thing that you need to worry about and you can also fetch the valid transitions for an issue um, th this is of course you can do if you want so now we are we are we are able to resolve the issue so this is of course a very simple thing but uh, uh, what uh, we can also do we can also fetch the transitions uh, of uh, of the issue uh, the valid transitions of course so let us let us try that let, let, let us also create uh, this uh, uh, let us also play with this new uh, endpoint for getting the transition so the same thing but instead of post we'll use the get method so what i'll do i'll first save this and uh, i will uh, probably copy this uh, uh, transition issue and i will use uh, maybe um, something like i mean this is of course my own list so i'll use something like get transitions uh, i'll copy it i'll ho i'll probably open it and uh, now i will uh, change the method from post to get and i'll run the same thing so let us see if this works or not so it works and what i can see here that for this particular uh, issue i have three valid transitions 
11, 21, and 31. Now let, let us try for maybe something else. Uh, let, let us go to maybe a different project, maybe, uh, maybe something like marketing uh, project. And let me open maybe a task, which is MA3, MA1, which is uh, a, just a task, but a different task. And, and hopefully the, the transitions will be different for uh, this particular issue. So for this particular issue, yes, I do have uh, different uh, different transitions, which is uh, 11, 21, 31, and 41. So this is how you can uh, you know use the uh, the Jira REST API to make a transition. And of course, when you make a transition, you have to make sure that you're using the valid transition that you can do with the get uh, method. So uh, this is all I wanted to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.